Okay, I'm going to show you how to use um, benchmarks to estimate uh, when you're adding or subtracting decimal. So in this problem, we have 2 and 31 hundredths, and we are adding that to 3 and 72 hundredths. So the first thing that I want to do is set up my number line below, okay? And I start over here with 0, and all the way to the right with 1 whole. Okay, exactly halfway in the middle, okay, I have five tenths, okay, or it may help some of you to write it as fifty hundredths. Halfway between the zero and the five tenths, I have twenty-five hundredths, and halfway between the five tenths and the one whole, I have seventy-five hundredths. These are what we refer to as our benchmark numbers. A good way to remember them is thinking about money. It's like having zero dollars, 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, one dollar. So now what I do is I look at my first number, two and 31 hundredths, and specifically I look at the decimal portion, 31 hundredths, and I identify where that would be on my number line. Now. 31 hundredths would probably be right around here, okay? And so I look, that is going to be closest to 25 hundredths. So therefore, what I'm going to do is make 2 and 31 hundredths, 2 and 25 hundredths. The next thing that I'm going to do is look at my bottom number, where I get 3 and 72 hundredths, and I'm specifically going to look at the 72 hundredths and put that on my number line. Now that would be right about here, okay? And that is clearly closest to 75 hundredths. So 3 and 72 hundredths, I'm going to estimate to be 3 and 75 hundredths. Now I'm simply going to add 2 and 25 hundredths to 3 and 75 hundredths. Once again, use your knowledge of money to help you. This is like having $2.25 plus three dollars and seventy-five cents. So, seventy-five cents plus twenty-five cents is a dollar. One plus two is three, plus three more is six. So, my estimate, okay, using benchmark numbers for two and thirty-one hundredths plus three and seventy-two hundredths is the number six.